What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Are you looking for a great gift idea for somebody on your shopping list? Today, we will be looking at the 1976 International Scout 2 by AMT Ertl. Now this one's out of my own personal collection. However, you can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. It's hard for us to imagine now, but at one point in time, you could go to your international tractor dealer and actually buy an international scout right in the same showroom. So here we have AMT Ertl's International Scout 2 for 1976. And as you can see, this is quite an unusual and unique model kit. Now this skill level 2 kit came out from RC2 back in 2004, intended for the moderate model builder of skill level 2. Ages 10 and up, glue and paint are required. Here we have some pictures of the model as built by AMT and you can see inside the interior and the International Scout engine as well as the rear three-quarter profile of the truck. Now before we open up the box lid on this AMT Ertl International Scout, I do believe it actually came out earlier under a different model company, not related to AMT or MPC or one of those. So what I'm going to do is show some pictures of some early boxes of this model kit and then we'll open up the lid on this. Now that we've seen some of those earlier model kits, we can lock down as to who was the original manufacturer. But for now, we can remove the lid and see what's in the box. So what do we have here? Some earlier instructions showing the decals on the side here, which are quite nice. Gives us a nice little two-tone. Now those striped decals were quite big back in the 70s. If you open this up, you got the decal sheet, which we'll look at at the end. So I'll just close this again. <laughs> Here we have our international body interior and our chassis. Then we have our chrome components, which are quite nice looking. Tires. And then I got the plastic bag because I was looking at this before. You can see our clear glass right here. And then our you know, gray plastic components. There's not too much to this kit. Spare tire there, our wheel cover. But yeah, as you can see, there is quite a bit to it. Our instruction sheet is of the fold-out map variety. And you can see some really nice uh, models of the built-up International Scout. And you get a pretty nice write-up in here. Here we have our International Motor, and it is a 345 cubic inch engine, which is rather an unusual size. Most of these engines were 350, not internationals, but you know, like Chevys and everything else. So what we have here is an engine block which also includes the cylinder heads and the oil pan as well as a transmission off the back. So it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is glue on the valve covers once this is together and put on your intake manifold. Now there is no carburetor so it's sort of suggested. We imagine that it's there under the air cleaner once this gets put together. We have a two-piece transfer case as well as two exhaust manifolds and our front timing chain cover our belts and pulleys with an alternator, and our fan. Assembly 2 is our front and rear chrome wheels going through the tires. There is a webbing you have to remove, and then we have this nice big fat wheel backing that pops all into place. Now here we have an interesting thing going on. We have our engine dropping into the chassis, and we've of course got our steering linkages and our exhaust pipes with the muffler in there as well as braces for the engine. But what's really unique is this photograph showing you how it all goes together. And this is not a usual AMT kind of thing. So this again is why I'm thinking that another manufacturer made this and AMT bought it off of them. Panel four shows our suspension components going together. There's our differential with the drive shaft as well as our gas tank. And then on the front, 
because of course we've got the transfer case so we have a differential going to the front for four-wheel drive and again there's these photographs at the bottom showing you how it all goes together now this is rather unique because the chassis and the interior tub are all one complete unit so then you can glue your seats in place as well as your spare tire and your battery and upper radiator hose then we've got the nice dashboard with steering wheel that pops into these grooves as well as our shift levers for the regular gear shift and to lock into four-wheel drive then we have our grill going into the body and our glass going up and all this will compress together to build our international and again we've got a photograph showing to trim out that cross web in between the fenders and for panel 7 we have the final bits of our international going together which is dropping the hood on, putting on our side mirrors, front bumper, license plate shroud, then in the back license plate shroud again, tail lights, rear bumper, and the gas filler cap. And on the back we get some information about modeling tips and scout specifications. Series Scout 2 4x4. It says there was different engines, so you had a standard four-cylinder 196 cubic inch, optional V8 304, which I believe might have been an American Motors engine, and then a 345 cubic inch engine. It tells you all about the springs, the rear suspension, the transfer case, and the transmission, as well as the wheelbase, overall length, height, width, ground clearance, and turning diameter. Now I don't what you're thinking, you came here to this channel today to watch this video so you could see some plastic. Well, I'm not going to disappoint you as I give you the skinny on this great kit. So as you can see, we've got some nice sunken in sections on the roof, ribbed sections just like the real thing. You got the vents and your windshield wipers. You will have to cut out this cross brace, that's just to help from warping in the mold process. Side profile looks correct for an international scout. You do get the nice lower rocker panel trim as well as some of the emblems and then the door handles and side marker lights. Up front you have the radiator support wall molded in place with a radiator. Grills, parking lamps. Aha! Look at this. Copyright 1976 underneath here and it says Victor Comptometer Corporation. Victor Comptometer Corporation. Have you guys ever heard of that before? Anyway, I think what they did is they made these International Scouts and I guess AMT somewhere along the line from 1976 forward, somewhere in there, bought this and then reproduced it as their own. But anyway, you can see that we need our number 16 hobby blade in here just to get in the corners to get rid of those mold marks. And then off the back, this does look quite nice indeed. So that great company there actually made a pretty decent model back in the day. So as I was saying before, the interior bucket and the chassis are all molded together as one piece. And actually this has some really nice detailing in it. You can see the ribbed floor panels back there, as well as the carpeted panels up front. The door panels again are very nice, have the door latch in them as well as the pockets and whatnot. Very beautifully done. Not really any mold marks in the interior. Turning it over, you can see the nice frame rails underneath, as well as the ribbed floor. Lots of room here for that big engine to sit in. And again, very nicely detailed and very crisp looking. Our next parts tree includes the front bucket seats with the center console, as well as our rear bench seat, steering wheel, exhaust headers, and our exhaust pipe with the single muffler. And then off the sprue is our spare tire cover. Not too much to be said about that piece, but the seats are actually not too bad. The upholstery is a little bit soft in there, but maybe that's how the International Harvester was. One of my sister's friends had one, but I can't remember what it was like inside. Anyway, I know that it was quite the reliable vehicle. Here's our second grey parts tree and our last grey parts tree. But I was just thinking, you know, this model kit would be pretty nice for a beginner modeler. And again, the detail in this is excellent, even though the parts count is low. There's our intake manifold, our engine block with the automatic transmission, as well as our dashboard and our hood and all kinds of great things. You can listen to Convoy on that radio. Convoy! <laughs> 
All right, so there we go. Look at that dashboard. Again, excellently done, just like the real thing, only smaller. There's our engine block, lots of heft to that thing, 345 cubic inch. There's our scout hood. If you turn it upside down, it's very smooth. There's no trunk matting in here. There are mold marks in there, though. Our dreaded friend, the mold mark. <laughs> Look at that transfer case. That's nicely done. Again, the rear axle. Very simplistic, but easy to do. Oh, it does have the pop-on uh, axle pins on here. So make sure you've got those holes uh, cleaned out nicely. And there's no seam lines on the pegs. Otherwise, you'll pop the wheels on and they will not rotate. But again, very nicely done and very quick to build this one. Now here's our International Scout Chrome components, and I am liking this. You know, this is kind of model kit that doesn't have that much in it. But, you know, if you're out in the summertime, like when I'm recording this right now, it's July. <laughs> July 2021. But anyway, when you're out camping, you could take this model kit with you, and maybe two or three spray cans or, you know, acrylic paints or something like that. And you could build this when you're camping, because there's not much to it. There's our grill. We can add a black wash into there. We've got our headlights as well as turn signal lights in there. Air cleaner and the cylinder or the valve covers and the wheels. We even got a CB radio going on in there. And all this is nicely chrome plated. There's not much chrome, but they got it where it counts, of course. Again, removing the bumps off the back and painting it all flat black so that you can't really see inside and flat blacking in the grill. But yeah, you'll have a very nice looking vehicle. And again, look at how neat those wheels are. So this is a perfect thing to take with you camping in the woods and get it built. Here we have the glass for our International Harvester and this is really unique. You don't really see glass molded this way. We've got our two tail lamps in here which you'll have to paint with a Tamiya Clear Red or something like that. But look at the glass. This is just like one big dome. <laughs> So when have you seen that, really? And again, the tail lamps are quite nice. They look accurate. They just need to be red. But overall, I mean, that's a nice little bread box. Our 1976 International Scout 2 rides on some pretty mean-looking Goodyear Tracker AT tires. And as you can see, they've got quite a nice nubby side pattern as well as this very cool tread pattern on the actual tread surface. And if we turn them over, you can see in the sunken bits where you would pop in that great big fat wheel back. But overall, these tires are really nicely done. Now we can reveal our decal sheet. And here it is. Now you can't really see too much because these stripes are white, but they do say rally on them. Then we have an Ertel decal as well as the California 100 SCT, which would be Scout. And then here we have some Iowa license plates, as well as a Michigan Scout. This would be sort of a dealership type of license plate. And then these really unique RLH869. It just says USA. So maybe this is a uh, universal license plate for the states. I'm not sure about it because I'm up here in Canada. Maybe you guys know. But it does have 76 on there. And then we have bumper stickers, four wheels, and just trucking. Keep on trucking. And of course, our USA flag. And I hope you enjoyed that unboxing of the AMT Ertl International Scout 2. Now, if you've built this model or one of the more recent editions from round two, please let us know in the comment section below and share those pictures with us on our Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that great unboxing video where I got to show you the 1976 International Scout by AMT Ertl. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, Happy model building!